Hello and welcome back to our last day of Into the New Year Yoga Challenge, day 10. What a journey. I'm so, so, so proud of each and every single one of you for continuing, for keep on rolling your mat. And I really hope that your journey is not going to stop here. I know what happens, you know, with those New Year's re resolutions every now and then. But uh, my wish for you is to keep rolling the mat and keep doing the work, even if it's 10 minutes a day, even if it's five minutes a day, when you sit down, when you close your eyes, you breathe and you feel. So this is my wish for all of you, really. And of course, if you want to continue on with the journey, you have my YouTube channel, feel free to pop on here and uh, you can always join the community for the live classes or classes on demand where I have a vast library of different kinds of sessions. But for today, we're just gonna be doing more of expanding, more of growth. So grab a couple of blocks or books and I'll see you shortly. For the first position of the practice, we'll grab those blocks or your books. So in my case, I'm using two yoga blocks. So one I'll place at level two. So level one would be this way, level two is this way. And the other block is for my head. And then we just wanna turn around, bring our shoulder blades on top of the first block. And the other block is supporting the head. And now there's a few ways how you can also um, provide a hip opener. So if you bring the soles of your feet together, you have the inner thigh stretching. And if you want to open your hearts, you want, you want to open the chest, you would bring your arms by your sides. So choose where you want to be. Choose the intensity of the pose. If something doesn't feel right, just please find a way that works for your body. Maybe knees in even, arms down. And then we just want to close the eyes. And to ease in into the stretch, I invite you to take your first deep breaths here. So really feeling as your belly balloons out, the sides of your waist, the ribs, the chest. Everything just begins to grow and expand, and this is what we want to be experiencing. Feel free to let it out through the mouth. Good. And come into stillness. Arrive to the space. And thank yourself for showing up. That is the most important thing that you can do, even before we actually begin to move. You are already connecting further with your practice, with your breath, with your body. So I think we should be grateful for this. Notice your heart space expanding. Notice how you create this extra space with every single inhale that you take. Removing any physical obstacles, physical tightness. Maybe even able to let go of some things from an emotional side. So take an even deeper breath in through the nose. Open the mouth and release. And deep inhale. One more breath in. And out. How nice. From here, if you have the soles of your feet in, let's bring the knees back into the center. Arms are gonna come down. And to come out of this pose, the best way probably is to just roll onto one side slowly. We can remove all the props from behind us and come back on our backs. 
So here, just draw your knees in towards the chest. Just hug yourself in, slightly rocking from right and left. Great. And we're going to give ourselves a rock into tabletop position. So coming onto all fours, hands and knees on the mat. We'll start with some twisting and shoulder flossing, shoulder stretching. So reach the right arm up towards the sky, breathe in. As you exhale, sink your hips towards the heels and create a big circle with your arm. Reach up as you inhale, exhale, sink towards the heels. Inhale up, exhale, sink to the heels, back to the sky, breathe in. And we change the direction of our circles. Inhale, feel your shoulder joint, exhale. And one more. Exhale. Now we come back into the center. Take a breath and thread your arm through. Actively crunch and look over towards the left. Inhale. Sweep the right arm back up. Exhale to crunch. One more here. Exhale to crunch. Reach the right arm up and release the hand down. Exhale. Left arm goes up, breathing in, sink your hips towards the heels and circle your arm around. Inhale up, exhale back, inhale, exhale, coming back to the center and now changing direction of your circles. Inhale, exhale, one more. And exhale, well done, arm comes back, actively we crunch and twist, looking over to the right shoulder. Inhale, reach it up, find your twist, exhale, we rotate and crunch. Inhale, reach the arm up, and exhale to crunch, very nice, arm to the sky. And we release the hand down, exhale. Let's tuck the toes under. From here, walk your hands towards the knees. Slowly lift your knees off the floor and balance here. You can uh, keep your hands next to the heart. If you want to challenge yourself, interlock the fingers, flip the palms and reach those arms towards the sky. Here, try and open across the front part of the body. Draw your arms back. Very good. We inhale and exhale. Hands come together and we twist to the right. I invite you to hook the left elbow against your right knee. Breathe in, breathe out and twist. Inhale, exhale and twist. And one more. Quite challenging for the toes here. Good. Slowly we return through the center. Exhale to twist over to the left. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh, one more inhalation. Exhale. Ooh, toes are getting tired. Back through the center. Take a breath. And release the hands to the floor and let's send the hips up. Sit bones up into your Uttanasana forward fold. Begin to paddle your legs through. Upper body is heavy. You can just support the floor with your fingertips. Very good. And then from there, when you're ready, just settle down, extend your legs, keep a micro bend through the knees if you like. And then from here, sweep your arms up towards the sky. Take a breath and bend your elbows and open up through the chest. Inhale, take the arms back up, extend, and release into your forward fold again, Uttanasana. From here, look forward and walk your hands to the front of your mat, finding your high plank position. Push the floor away. Strong body, shoulders are stacked above your wrists. Take a breath, and we shift over onto the left into our Vashistasana side plank. So right arm up. Remember, if you want to modify, right foot can travel in front of you. If you're okay with this, embrace the heat. Good. 
Take a breath here. Release the right hand down. Exhale back into your plank. Now reach the right foot off the ground. Inhale and draw your right knee towards the nose and slowly guide your foot in between your hands. Exhale. From here, drop your left knee to the floor. Extend through your left, uh, right leg. Arms gonna go back. Inhale. Interlock the hands behind you. Draw your shoulder blades in. Breathe in and lengthen. Exhale to soften over your front leg. And here, of course, we have a challenge to balance. And then to find that extra space across the shoulders. So staying here. Two. Flexing through the front foot. One more breath. Exhale, very well. Slowly, let's release the hands to the floor. Bend your right knee, tuck the back toes, lift the knee and send your right arm up. Inhale. Coming on to the outer edges of your feet, dip your hips towards the mat. You might want to rest your hips completely just to get a stretch across the left side of your waist and the ribs. See if that works for you. Very good. One more inhalation, exhale, release the hips completely. See if you can bend through your left knee slightly and slide your right ankle on top of your left knee. We come into the seated figure four. So here, push your chest through, exhale. Notice a stretch across the right hip. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now reposition your hands, place your hands kind of backwards, fingers pointing towards the body. And as you breathe out, push your hips up. Find your reverse tabletop. Breathe out. Two. And last breath. Breathing out. Let's slowly release the hips onto the floor. From here, extending through your left leg, bring the right foot onto the ground, take your hips up, right arm up, inhale. And we come back into the side plank again so you can stay here or send your right foot to meet your left foot. And three more breaths here, nice and strong. Two. Last breath. And release the right hand down, find your plank pose, take a breath. If you want to bend your elbows, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, we breathe out. Deep inhalation. Exhale. Again, we find our way into plank pose. From here on to the right side, Vashistasana, so left arm up. If you want to, wiggle your left foot in front and stay here. Ooh. So the sides of your waist working hard. Strong position, very challenging position. We take a breath. And we release the left hand to the floor, plank pose, lift your left foot off the mat, balance here, hold still, breathe in and draw your left knee towards the nose and with control, guide your foot towards the hands. Right knee to the floor, from here, leg extends, arms go back, inhale, interlock the fingers and fold forward. If you're struggling with balance, there's no reason why you cannot have your hands on the floor. Of course you can. It's just a different variation to open through the shoulders a bit more. Let's take one more inhalation. Breathing out. Well done. Slowly from here, bring your hands to the floor, bend your front knee and take your left arm up. Inhale. Coming on to the outer edges of your feet, sink your hips towards the mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
See if you can reach the floor with your hip slowly. One more breath. Exhale. Now we bring the leg all the way down, soften through the right knee and bring your left ankle on top of your right knee. From here, lengthen, push your sternum up. Exhale. So you want to guide your left knee away from you. A few more breaths. Take another inhale. Exhale. Spin your hands around. Fingers now pointing towards the hips. And when you're ready, as you exhale, push them up. You can relax the head back or keep the chin tucked. And mindfully, you guide your left knee down and away from you. One more inhalation, doing so well. And we slowly, slowly release the hips down. Exhale. Extend the right leg all the way to the back. We find our way into modified plank. And of course, you can stay here or bring the left foot on top of the right. Holding here, three, two, and one. Breathe out, hand comes to the floor, take a breath. Bend your elbows, lower down. Find your way into upward facing dog. And downward facing dog, breathing out. Inhaling deeply. And exhaling. Great. Now look forward. Something a bit more challenging for us today. So I want us to try and bring the elbows almost to the mat. So we find this hovering dolphin. If it's really intense and challenging, feel free to bring your elbows completely onto the floor and hold your dolphin. Otherwise, hover here for 10 nine, eight, seven, six, keep hugging your elbows in, five, four, three, two, one. How nice. Let's release the knees to the floor and find our child's pose. Wrap your arms around your legs and drop the forehead to the floor. And just relax for a moment. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. How nice from here. Slowly reach yourself all the way back into downward facing dog. And we continue with our flow. So this time let's send our right leg back towards the sky. We breathe in. Draw your knee towards the nose and hold it here. And with control, begin to flex your right foot forward and step the foot all the way in between your hands as you breathe out. We reach up into our high lunge. Exhale, we rotate to the right. So back leg is nice and straight, really active. Breathe out and twist. One more breath. And now look in front of that right foot and guide your left hand in front of it. You can, of course, use a block or stay as you are and find your Parvrita Ardha Chandrasana, revolved half moon pose. Very challenging. Keep rotating. Make sure both of your legs are straight or as straight as they can be. Doing very well. One more breath. Look down. Now bring the right hand down. Find your supported warrior three. So just lengthen through the spine. Keep pushing the left foot back. And slowly now begin to bring your left hand on top of your lower back on the sacrum. And begin to open up through the hips. So from the closed hip pose, we're moving into an open hip posture into our half moon. So from here, maybe you take your left arm up and you hold it here. A few more breaths. 
Keep your awareness here and now on the mat. Last inhalation. Exhale, now soften the right knee. Guide your left foot onto the floor. We find warrior two. Take a breath. Breathe out. Now send your left arm underneath the right arm. Find your eagle arms. Inhale here. Exhale, shift your weight forward. Maybe your hands, your forearms reach to the floor. And we pause here. Three. Two. And one. Exhale, well done. Untangle the hands, stay low. Hands come to frame the front foot, lift the back heel. From here, brush the right leg behind you. Three like a dog, take that breath. And release your foot down, down dog. Exhale. Ripple forward into your plank. Chaturanga, exhale. Keep the energy flowing, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog, we breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Feet come together, left leg goes back. Three legged dog, take a breath. And bring your knee towards the nose a little hover. With control and awareness, you step your foot in between those hands. Exhale. Let's rise, high lunge, breathe in. And we twist and open over to the left. Inhale. Exhale and rotate. One more. Exhale. Now look down and bring the right hand in front of your left foot and find your revolved half moon. Make sure you have space here. And as it is a wide posture, both legs are straight. Keep rotating, keep twisting, feel the heat. Doing really well. I know it is challenging. Last breath in. Look down and bring your left hand to the floor. Exhale. From here, lengthen halfway, extend through your right leg even further. And from here, guide your right hand on top of your lower back and slowly begin to open through the hip, rotate through your pelvis. Maybe you begin to extend your right arm up. Finding that half moon, expansive position. So you really wanna grow into it. Ground through your left foot, root down through your leg. Last inhalation. <laughs> and then we slowly soften the left knee, guide the right foot to the floor, and we rise. Warrior two, take a breath. Breathe out. Send your right arm underneath the left arm. Find your eagle, inhale. Exhale, dip your arms towards the floor, right side of your left foot. Holding it here. Send your hips low. Make sure the right leg stays straight. Last breath. Exhale, untangle your hands, stay low. Frame your foot with your hands and brush the left leg behind you. Three like a dog, take a breath. And release the foot down, exhale. Find your way into your plank pose. And I want us now to find our chaturanga and stay in our chaturanga for five counts. A strong position, I know. When you're ready, take an inhale. Bend your elbows and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Upward facing dog, breathing in. Downward facing dog, breathing out. So I wanted us to fire up through those shoulders as I want us to now find a little inversion. So you can drop your knees to the floor 
And for today, maybe your inversion is your dolphin pose. Maybe you don't feel like doing an inversion. Or you can come with me as I guide you into our Shirshasana headstand. Again, it is a pose where you don't necessarily need to bring your legs all the way up. So there are a couple of steps that we make sure we do. So guide your arms on the floor, measure the distance, interlock the hands here, and place the crown of the head in front of those hands. Then from here we tuck the toes under and we lift the knees. Maybe this is enough for us and we stay here, almost a dolphin-like position. Maybe we walk the feet closer in. And as a little drill, I always like to check in with myself if the weight is on my arms. So I want to lift my head and then I gently release it down. And I do it a few times. If you're feeling comfortable, you can try bringing one knee towards the chest and alternate or send both of your knees towards the chest and you hold here without actually extending the legs. Of course you can extend if you're feeling comfortable, if you're feeling confident. Just breathe. Wherever you are, if you're doing your drills, make sure you're present. Last inhalation, and then we slowly want to come out of the pose. Doesn't matter which one we did. And all of us can rest in well-deserved child's pose. So you can just relax your arms by your sides. Soft in the face, soft in your jaw. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. How nice. From here, guide yourself forward into your downward facing dog. And from our downward facing dog, we're going to look forward, soften the knees, you can hop, you can float, or you can step into seated. Great. From here, you can hold on to your thighs. And from there, we're going to slowly come on our backs. So slowly, just ripple your spine all the way down. Guide your knees towards the chest. I want us to gently lift the hips and pop them over to the right so that we create space on our left. And from here, allow your knees to go over on the left. And if this is enough, stay here. If you want to, you can extend your right leg, grab the foot into your left hand and stay in this position. Also, you can add on cat's tail, meaning that you grab onto your left foot into your right hand. Make sure your right shoulder stays close to the floor so you're not lifting it up and your knees are separating from one another. So just stay with your breath, observe the sensations. Great. We take a nice inhalation. Exhale. If you have your tail, just let go of the foot. Bend your knee and send your legs back through the center. Now from here, we bring our hips over to the left a bit. So we create space on our right and we fold over to the right. And then please take an option that works for you here. Maybe one leg extended, this is enough. Maybe you grab your right foot into your left hand. You begin to bring your left shoulder down, opening up through your ribs, still finding that supine twist and a rotation across the spine. Stay with the breath. And we 
take one more inhalation and breathe out. From here, let go of your foot. Bend your knee, send your legs back. From here, I want us to come into a very, very tight little ball where we bring the forehead towards the knees. Hug your knees in, scrunch the face, point the toes, squeeze the hands into fists. Really active, really tight. And then as you next exhale, I want us to release everything with a sigh and find our way into our Shavasana. Take a breath here. And let go. I want us to slowly begin wiggling the toes, the fingers, and breathing in a little bit deeper, slowly coming back to the here and now, coming back into the body in the space that you were in. Stretch your arms, the legs, eventually guide your knees towards the chest. Roll into one side, and from there, with your eyes closed, arrive into a seated position. Now with your eyes closed, try and imagine every single soul that joined these 10 days. Every single person that continued to practice for these 10 days. And I admire you so, so much for your perseverance, for your commitment to yourself, that you kept on doing the work, even perhaps when that Tuesday or Wednesday felt really, really heavy. But that's the idea of our practice. That's the idea of yoga. Our yoga mat will receive us at any day, no matter how we feel. So bring those hands next to your hearts. Really thank yourself for all that you've learned, for all of those wobbles on your mat. And thank yourself for the moments where You've really, truly felt proud of yourself. So let's take a nice deep inhalation. And breathe out. Thank you so much again from the bottom of my heart for staying here for these 10 days for creating space for each other and for yourself. And I really hope that I'll be seeing some of you in one of the retreats this year, maybe in Lithuania, Portugal, or Spain, or Italy, <laughs> anywhere in the world, really. I'd love to connect. And of course, we will stay connected, um, maybe through live videos or on-demand classes, or just feel free to drop me a message. I always love to chat. So I'm wishing you guys all the best. Hugs and kisses to everybody. And I see you very, very soon. Namaste.